Hmm. Where are you? Hello there. Perhaps you. Hello. Were you calling me? I was. Yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure, following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme. I found two maps lying about, puff both scheme. leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I... Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Oh. Alright, well I know where that is. I'm gonna use that spell on that. Use that. Oh, I'll be over here. Yeah, that one. Rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. But I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Ooh, that's interesting. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He How the fuck the did Undercroft. you get in front of me? We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous oh, I would safeguard sister? this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. 
but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. <laughs> Revelio. So no bad. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors Ooh. say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a ah, while getting to get taught by a peer. A Mimic my wand curse. movement. I'm sure that go well. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Good for you. Like, nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly Absolutely. the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Oh, I thought she died. <laughs> Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? 
He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can trust the Slytherin, huh? I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Uh, I need to go get... I need to get all this stuff. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. Ooh. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah. Welcome. Come on in. Now, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> You've a good head for business, haven't you? Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with.
No one can say I don't keep a stock shelf. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can Ooh, be used to Wingardium levitate Leviosa. objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I need to go buy, I need to get more pots, so I need to go buy the fucking thing from Tome and Scrolls and Hogsmeade. But I think I'm going to get my money first. Ooh. 
I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. that. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Rackham Peeves. It was beneath us all this time. Meat. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the portkey, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, 
None of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces... traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then. Be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Alright. Rebellion. What are you up to now? It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. Oh, I guess I just have to go purchase the broom, huh? You just rifle through all your shit first, hold on. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real Oops. opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? Oh, give me money, sure. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. 
the ever-changing game. Akio. Come on, Neander. Oh. Akio. Was one for the ages. Akio. Try to beat that. Bam. Eh. Lucky shot. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. Didn't think you were a match for me. Wait, did I win? I won. What? <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Another time, perhaps. Cut. Let's play someone as cool. Back for more, eh? I'm in. Brilliant. Someone has caught the ever-changing game. Akio. I'm not allowing this motherfucker to beat me. My, uh, my wand slipped. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. I'll let you have that one. Akio. Try to beat that. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep Yeah. Playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Seven times in a row, my man, you're bad. Indeed, here I come.
Where's the... Where is the broom shop? Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Bro, if you don't shut the fuck up. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement? Go now on. Now you're talking my ha! language. Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. What could go wrong? Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, Revelio, sure let me know. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I was wondering when I'd see you again.
nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Use my broom. Oh, if Black hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing in the first place. Rebellion. You, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays? Albi Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the mm. better flyer. Mm. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Aggressive. I mean, it's gonna rain. I'm upset. Made it. Did it. 
Jaeger. Ugh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ugh. Fine. Mm. You won. Talk to get. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I want my damn room upgrade now. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? No, it does not. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee Aww, you'll be pleased. It now. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Pretty cool, not gonna lie.
That's interesting. What potions do I actually have to use? Focus, maximum iridus. Oh, I need maximum iridus potion at the same time. When there's usually a fucking thing in here, where is it? What the hell? Can I talk to you? Alright. I'd like to ask you about Chase. Of course. I would like the room. Hmm, sounds perfect. I like that more. I will not use the Wigan Weld Potions again. Oh, I just can't use them here, I guess.
So I need the actual person is so this person. Stench of the dead, ash wonder eggs. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Hello, Mr. Pippin. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should... What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few in... That's I used to go more. myself, but lately Fat... Constantly I, uh... complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating... I'd be happy to help with the... You've no idea how... Here are the invisibility potions she requested. She's a talented potioner in her own... I want to use my broom. Please. Take you a while.
Oops, down here. Revelio. It's like a place right out of a storybook. That Pippin should have been here by now. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. I do insist. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You a bitch. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate Nice to see you again. Likewise. What do you have? What are we looking for today? A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it.
Rebellion. Yeah, the house is a little bit tilted. Sorry. Rebellion. Oh, no lag, jeez. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. What did it do? Let me I have to fill with water, but I can't do that yet. Rebellion. Rebellion. Huh. There it is. Hmm. Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Rebellion. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Who looks to the likes of us and thinks 
Confringo! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Potato! Expelliarmus! Confringo! For your information, I received an owl from her just the other day. And as for her affection, oh, I can assure you, it is well and well. And be sure to stoke the flames with an easy hand. I seem to recall last time you put the thing out. Confringo! Likely we'll need more wood if we're to not freeze. Seems Harkness has her mind set to follow us. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Let me go, sir. Akio. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Fortunately, I'm not looking to be forgiven. How are you doing this? Not especially quiet. You're the one who's doing these treads well, aren't you? That was a mistake. Expelliarmus. Rebellion. Confringo. This place is pretty out there. Akio. Slow. Levy on the Cynthia. Confringo. Is this Hogwarts back? Expelliarmus. Akio. Levy on the Rebellion. Oh. oh shit. Damn. That's not good.
Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. Rebellion. Levioso, Confringo, Levioso. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Levioso, Confringo, Levioso, Accio. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Revelio. Expelliarmus, Accio, Levioso, Rebellion. Ah, 
kill. Revelio. So I can use that. Akio. Up here and leave. <laughs> Where are my balls, Summer? I found my ball somewhere. This Merlin Charles won't get the best of me. Close one. Revelio. Damn, there's a lot of Merlin trials. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, shit.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh, it's locked. Mine's better. Mine's just as good. Yeah, it's a bird. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. I give my motherfucking money. What can I do for you today? Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Time to go do some shit in the room of requirement.
Confringo. Levioso. Accio. Expelliarmus. Just want a damn test dummy. Rebellious. Oh, there was something else too.
Rebellion. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Well done. I'm glad to see it. Don't let me Accio. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an Akio. Depulsa. Over here. What are you up to now? We're not alone. We are not. 
Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little bit. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. I've never seen a sword like it. Quickly now. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. <sighs> Petrificus Totalus. Well done. Okay. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. Feels like I've been at this for hours. Must be something here. Ramrock said so. Hello? One less human to worry about. <laughs> Orders, directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? Revelio. I will draw blood. Taste goblin silver. Was that your best? Expelliarmus. Goblins have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this is different somehow. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Let's head inside. Looks like we found the It's it's locked. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Someone was an avid reader. Can't say I'm familiar with many of these titles. 
I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. Revelio. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient... Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. Revelio. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry. Okay, we have tea off the ground. I've seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted section. Revelio. Must have done something. Best have a look around. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Rebellion.
These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Protego! Stupid Rebellion! Expelling armors! Confringo! Levioso! Rebellion. Repair. Hmm. These look familiar. Rebellion. Accio. Is it Akio we used it before? Expelliarms, Accio. What did that burst of magic do? More statues. Not making this easy on me. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. But where? Revelio.
Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Rebellion. Expelliant. Accio. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. get used to these floors. Rebellion. Now to see what's changed on each side of this archway. Things are definitely different on either side of the archway, but how? Oh. 
What if I stood on one platform and used Akio on the other? That won't work. Rebellion. the look of this. Expelliarmus! Confringo! Accio! Protego! Stupid! Rebellion! Expelliarmus! Confringo! What a relief. Fucking mess. Rebellion. What the fuck? 
another pencil. Oh, a tear. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Uh oh. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Crystallized stone. That must be... What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts, with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You'll need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They, 
and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Brookwood. Do you think that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Okay. What is it, fall now? Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. I should ask Serona at the Three Broomsticks about the goblin she was talking to the day of the troll attack. News. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha, stop by the shop when you can. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. going to take a small break small potty break well uh, I'll be back here in momentarily
Returned. We get back into our back in bullshit. Yeah, it's kind of drippy, I'm not gonna lie.
me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you to send off, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Revelion. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented sleep. I tried to make up with the sleep on the As soon as I get this fucking spell, I'm gonna unlock so many locks. Casey has a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. Akio. Confringo. Rebellion. This place. He peeves. I figure this one out yet. <laughs> Why the fuck am I following this? Why in the fuck am I following that? than Hogsmeade. Hello there. Nice to see Hello, you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. They're like a man. Those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <laughs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok.
Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Sorona. If you find Lord Gok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, All right. watch your back. Okay. There we go. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it and i've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since it's silly but i'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest you couldn't possibly find out could you you want me to follow the butterflies i do yes if you wouldn't mind you're fucking insane very well if i have time i shall see where they lead Kind students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. Their eyes. You can use behind them right around here. I hope to see you soon. Okay. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. You too are meat. Welcome to the Og's Head. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I, I want to speak with them. you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out, 
a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay. Which certainly sounds like an ambush, but I guess... Rebellion. Still don't know what to do with this. I'm ready. Good. There's no I'm just the head with him. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the Urtgot rightful owner nuts. of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Nothing more to say, goblin. Confringo Accio Expelliarmus Levioso Hmm. Huh. 
Rebellion. Lumos. Yeah, buddy. What the fuck was that? Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving. Now, yeah, before yeah, yeah. you set off, do you have any questions? It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly Rebellion. awaiting your return. Please, be careful. I want to loot your ship. Rebellion. Oh. It's sealed. Moths. Curious. Lumos. Merlin's beard. Found a perfectly intact full uniform in a sarcophagus that has been sealed for hundreds of years. That, uh, you know, tracks. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos Rebellion Here. 
Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Ooh. Levioso! Depulsor! Expelliarmus! Good bring them! Levioso! They're certainly persistent! Yes, or potions. Levioso, Depulsor, Expelliarmus, Confringo. Revelio, Confringo. Lumos. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Lumos. I need to get that platform closer. But how? Accio! 
What? Am I supposed to? Repair us. Akio. Perhaps Akio would help. I am indeed making a bone bridge. Okay. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Akio. Leviosa, Confringo. Down I go. No other way. Rebellion. It's sealed shut on the other side. Confringo. Rebellion. Wow, I think you some mounted elf head in my okay. How do I get in there? Rebellion. 
I'm, I'm using the feet called running away. Rebellion. Expelliarmus. Depulsor. Lumos. Expelliarmus. 
Expelliarmus. This looks even more complex. Rebellion. Leviosa. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Also. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Lumos. Witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Rebellion. The dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Better show this to Lodgok. be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here. I'll head there now. Good. There's no... Get to that helmet before... To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Uh, 
You will not survive this fight! <laughs> you won't knock this one loose, and I'd not try if I were you. You will yeah. pay for that. Yeah. Rookwoods don't go down easy. No! Exposo! So, the hunt begins. Expulso! Levioso! Expulso! There they are. The Axolotls. So, the hunt begins. Expulso! 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 Confringo! Give it back! Hope you can hide from me! Stupid boy! Convulso! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Convulso! Expelliarmus! Protego! Stupid boy! Rebellion. Revelio. That's it. This is for Rookwood. No more happy days. Oh, what's the light out of your eye? You let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? You're about to win.
Revelio. Looked rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Rodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned.
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. You must try it. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Expelliarmus. Accio. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh my god, get out of my way. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception, very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your target. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Incendio. Descendo. Excellent. I think you have it. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the class. Levioso, Confringo, Expelliarmus. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones.
Revelio. Handy resource indeed. Your Rebellio. Revelio. Rebellion.
Rebellio. Rebellio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Rebellion. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Rebellio. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Sounds as if you're really... Thank you. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the... What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. You're back. Nice to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Mm. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio.
fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguise figurine menace. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Hmm. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about I wasn't the castle. actually even planning on doing this. I was going to skip over them. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form Rebellion. of a demigod. creature that can see the future wholly unnerving i encountered one when i was a lad in korea terrible experience uh, those statues are demigises the moons i assume are an uninspired play on my name some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me i am rebellious suspicion as to the you just said jackanapes <laughs> It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. But what about curfew? And I took advantage of it. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom at... Lohamora. Excuse me.
Hello, Homora. If I catch a student in here, we'll be able to come out, wouldn't I? Mm, I didn't realize I could move around while I was unlocking this shit. Interesting. Lumos.
That was interesting. poorly I'd say is that so <sighs> we're raising a generation Revelio. this must be the prefect's bathroom I wouldn't. What trickery are you up to?
returned once again. Let's try this, uh, let's try this one more time. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well. Back here. Oh, 
I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Revelio. I hate stuff.
warms Deke's heart to see a student, so... Need here I come. Mine now, dammy guys. Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. Accio. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Doors 
always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Doors always open. You be sure. Wait a minute.
Most excellent. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Rebellion. you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the... Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Rebellion. Rebellion. Accio. <laughs> Rebellion. 
Rebellio. Akio. Confringo. Rebellio. Descendo. Akio. Rebellio. Revelio What do we have here? A demigod. Expelliarmus. Accio. Rebellio. Rebellio. Ah, oh, hello. And how would one like to be styled today? Accio. Rebellio. Rebellio. Our charge you're not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Ruben Peck for the custom I lost the vehicle around here. I know you're not supposed to go down. Hello, Homora. Do we have Revelio. Rebellion. Mine now, Demi guys. Just slept on the floor of this dude's house. Ain't nobody give a fuck. Accio.
Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. How nice to see you, my young friend. Rebellio. Revelio Accio Revelio Revelio. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. Another adventure. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Lohamora. Oh, he really just doesn't care breaking his house. Rebellion. Really just don't give a fuck. And I'm just in his summons room, and doesn't seem like anyone cares. It's interesting. Accio. Revelio.
Mine now, damn you guys. Rebellion. Anyone at the ministry will stay in the light. Can you imagine working day in, day out, trapped behind the desk? Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? <laughs> Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. I mean, I can search that, but I can't get up on the damn dock. Rebellion. Lumos. Black Tommy, there'd be changes at Hogwarts for pure blood, sir. Squids, mudbloods, goblins, out elves. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Deke thinks you are doing good work here.
Rebellio. Clever? How offensive. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck <laughs> removing some... I actually have some moons for you. Oh, I knew I could count on you. I'll keep an eye... You are to be... Com we are fortunate to have a... I've always said Rebellion. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. 
Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> That's the weirdest looking fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast food? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, a couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Uh, what in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> let's go yeah that's what i thought i'm gonna turn you inside out boy that sounded interesting those two don't belong anywhere near this class poachers in training persephone was onto them instantly a happy beast is a giving beast that's what professor howard always says at least if we treat them well they'll treat us well The measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there... Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm, an optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I...
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to talk to you. Come here. Gerald. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet. In the forest. Oh? You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Oh? Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. <laughs> don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Ooh, our eyes look like that. Ooh. It's a hippogriff. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like i come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the mini. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I... The poachers' influence is growing. They're up to something. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What? 
I think that's a f And the more I know, the better I- You seem undeterred. Oh, very well. I should be going, but- we'll Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Jesus Christ, I thought that was a man. As Again. I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. And she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Damn, just everyone wants my fucking help. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Better keep an eye on high places around the school. It's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours, I think. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. 
Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was for me. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Accio Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gulpstones. I should go and see her. Alohomora! Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Ooh, that fog's a little... A little fucky. Revelio. Revelio.
Rebellion. Rebellion. Let me Rebellion. 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 Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Salo. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my... Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? Common sense and base... Well... <clears throat> Of course, they are your... Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all... Now that I have all my gobstones back... I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the... Isn't it? Oh, very well, off I go. Rebellion. Rebellion.
foolish child. Do you have any idea how many muggles the Ministry had to obliviate to cover up your actions? You could have been killed! You could have exposed us all! If I lose my job, it will be you to blame! <laughs> That's a fucking deal though. I don't know about that one. Look at like Tanjiro's wand. Revelio. Rebellion. Why won't you just let us use any? By the end of turn, I can report. Last time I checked. Don't you find this? Revelio. I prefer to study in the lab. Do you think Elizabeth would like a fanged grave? Incendio.
Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Uh, Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack Oh, I'm a little bit busy, motherfucker. On, then. You son of a bitch. Stop, we'll be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Oh. Uh oh. He's stuck on my plant. I don't know where the third one was. Here I come. Revelio. Oh, I'm answering a text message. Rebellion. Glad you came. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. What the fuck about the butterflies? You're back. Nice to see you again.
thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me. Sir, is every... How kind of you to ask. I'm plotting a sort... He cut... Hush. That must have... Yeah. Soup. A very... Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Get... But no... I'll get the venomous tentacle. Marvelous. Take as many herb... Remember... I just need that venomous tentacular. Mr. Barnes, about that venomous... Bring it to me. But I have one. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I also don't give a fuck about you. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio Aloha Mora. Now, damn you guys. 
Revelio. in and have a look around. No touching. Revelio. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Rebellion. Drakes. I haven't fed them yet. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Lumos, Accio. Revelio. Rebellion. Such a wee fair and 
a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. Akio. right out of a storybook. Assignment tool finished. Descendo! Expelliarmus! Confringo! Confringo! Expelliarmus! Descendo! Levioso! Confringo! Levioso! Descendo! Protego! Confringo! Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Wonderful to see you again. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural.
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? This will do just fine. Thank you for mm. stopping in. Nice to see you again. Like. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. than I can count. They're incapable of defending themselves. Confringo! Rebellion! Confringo! Cast my eyes closer. Best to be sure. Someone messing about.
Rebellion. Not a thing yeah. worth learning. Civilized society. Except that's a lie. Would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Rebellion. It doesn't surprise me you're looking for bravery since you're so short on it yourself. It's been ages since I've found that it's worth looking at. We're a bit of dying, are we? Revelio. Such arrogance. Yeah. Rebellion. Protego. Ah. Stupefy. Ascendo. Ah. Uh. Ah. 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 Expelliarmus. Leviosa. Yeah. Ah. 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 You've one less follower, Ranrock.
Revelio. I should dismount here. You made it. Okay. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it. Even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her. Come on. This way. Nice Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Right. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he doped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, <coughs> truly. <coughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. There has to be a way to remove that damn curse. Rebellion.
That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from what is going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig for this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead man. Let me on, sir. Just on the I won't 
I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Revelio. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out. Racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. <laughs> Whose home was this? Bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. Revelio, but it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought the Keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I... They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. 
you can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and... Revelio. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Revelio. There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. That tells me they're after something bigger. Confringo! Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to Rebellion. me too. A journal entry of Isadora. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps... Understood. Well then. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Rebellio. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but... I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Revelio.
Indeed, here I come. How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I can... Wonderful. Yes, Professor. If Black ever permits Quidditch... Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in before taking it out into the world. Rebellio. Glacis. There you go. Catching them quickly. Confringo. Glacis. I think it's learned its lesson, but do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool.
Rebellion. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. This Willardsy might give an answer about these butterflies. Well, well, look what we have here. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Glad you came. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm <sighs> perhaps one day I'll be. For now, I'm happy simply knowing that. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lodgok? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat. And I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. I... of course. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed... But the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world... Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Rebellion. Please do give Dot my love. On another adventure, are we? Looks intriguing. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Brottle? Hmm. 
Seems Revelio. Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Sirona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Sirona. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients. And she's correct. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, thanks. If you wouldn't mind gathering some... Believe it or not, I... Oh, thank you. Sirona also... Indeed, he, he was hoping to... Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it... The cavern is in the hills. Thank you, Mrs. Thank you. Rebellion. Hello, Homura. What do we have here? A demigod. Rebellion. Fine now, then. Arresto momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in mid-air. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Rebellion. Hello, Hamora. Rebellion. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized. I couldn't help but overhear. I did. Nice to meet you. Ran Rockin, my brother Bardo. Simply at I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ram. <laughs> we should not have to live in fear. Rebellion. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Rebellion. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That? Okay. Okay.
Revelio. Rebellion. Couldn't bring up. Rebellion. Confringo! Descendo! Rebellio! Revelio. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. This is where you go. Go. Okay, my shit's still just not working. All right. Learn the error of your ways. One camp down, one more to go. Revelio.
human to worry about. I didn't touch your helm. Well, thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. I know who my friends are now, don't I? Ugh. Get a slippery little squid. I'll find ya. Both camps cleared. Alan Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Rebellion. Bardo, oh, you should have returned by now. Oh, I do miss the bus. Hello, Madam Beaumont. You cleared them out. I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Marvelous. I could always use more of these. Thank you for passing through. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was not.
This must be the cavern Mrs. Brussel mentioned. Still need to visit the cave to find Zorona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk. Let's have a look around. See if I can find that box of letters. That's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Good for you. Rebellion. Protego! Couldn't bring us! Rebellion. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or we can all get him. Protego, couldn't bring us. This must be Sorona's box. I should take this box. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back.
can bring us. Rebellious. Rebellion. Akio. Send up. Rebellion. One's treachery. I'll check your bring up. Descender. Glacis. Protagon. Avoiding our problem. Expelliarmus. Rebellion. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion. Oh, thank you. I wondered about some of the letters. Of course. It's a... I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. It is. 
Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I'm glad I... Don't know what I'd have done without her and, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories.
ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. I'll skin them Deke poachers alive. Just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go. Good luck. I'll look after you. I rescued a jobbernal. Deke hopes your jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Are there any other beasts? Just one that Deke knows of. Deke will see you there. Revelio. What are you up to now? Hello, Deke. Is it? It is. Mooncar. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes. I shall go and find Deke will be with <sighs> I think after this quest I'm gonna 
gonna hop off. Playing for quite a while. I don't think it's weird as fuck, Logan. No, you don't. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now. All right. Deke will. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'd like to ask you about changes. Of course. Uh, what's no. Actually, Bab. What the fuck? Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, Beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as pubskeen hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Deke's no herbology professor, but some plants here seem to be ready. Hmm. 
Wonderful. That's not what I want to do. I've collected some magical material. Now, Deke can show you how. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to cut an enchanted loom. Exactly. Making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it, Deke? I'll go and experiment. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke.
Alright, guys. It was a good stream. I got so much fucking done in this game. I've definitely been playing for way too long. So, uh... Join me, uh, join me tomorrow for, uh, the next stream. Bye.